Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed a tough new law making social media companies unable to permanently boot people off of their platforms. That's too late, of course, for our former president, President Donald Trump. But Mr. Trump has started his own communication web page anyway. But here's what happened to that. When that link tried to start a Twitter account, it was shot down by Twitter three separate times. Uh, these three accounts, and you can look at them here on your screen, at DJT Desk, at DJ Trump Desk, and at Desk of DJT, were taken down by Twitter as fast as they went up. Of course, that's because the former president has been permanently banned from Twitter. Joining us now to discuss is Eric Bowling, who is the host of the podcast Bowling with Farb. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us, Eric. Yes. See, once yes. again, five. <laughs> always fun. To, always good to troll Fox just a little bit with exactly. you, Heather. So we have to make you number five. You know, Eric, what do you make of what's happened over the past week in terms of social media, especially the move by Facebook and their board, of which mm. the majority were anti-Trump and they didn't, don't even live in this country, decided that he would be banned from their platform for at least another six months while they continue an investigation? You know, Heather, free speech is dying in this country, one liberal at a time, one liberal president at a time. So Facebook, would they kick the can down the road another six months, but they never really defined what they were going to do and why they're going to do it. And this mm -hmm. is very, very important. That Section 230 means everything to these social media companies. It gives them a, a firewall between litigation. So if someone posts something that causes death or destruction on one of their sites, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, any of them, Google even for, for that matter, if they post something that caused death or destruction, they are not liable. They can't be held liable because of that Section 230. Mm -hmm. So they live behind this wall. Also, Section 230 allows them to get bigger and bigger and bigger. But Section 230 applies to everybody. So when a, a social media group like Facebook or Jack Dorsey at Twitter says, no, President Trump is banned, they're specifically targeting a person. And in my case, conservatives case, probably yours as mm -hmm. well. I lost somewhere around 20% of my, I lost 200,000 followers. I had 1.3 million. I have won one now. When Facebook and Twitter, Twitter specifically in this case, started targeting conservatives. When they do that, they're not allowed to use that section 230 as a firewall because that's for everybody. Mm -hmm. My point is pick or choose social media groups. I don't have a problem if you want to ban me. I don't care. That's fine. But don't be hide behind the legal system that every single American should have, not just liberals. The protection is not just liberal companies like social media. So very quickly, Ron DeSantis is smart. I don't know how this gets administered. I think what Ron <laughs> You're DeSantis reading my mind because that's what I, I was going to ask you. I mean, so how will Florida get around upholding what he wants to do, which is actually fining these companies, I think, um, every day uh, or for a certain amount if they do decide to ban some... Uh, politicians. Yeah. I, I, my guess is that it's it's more of a, um, uh, an ideological hat tip. I, mm -hmm. I think everyone that knows anything about politics that watches Newsmax knows that if President Trump does not run in 2024, Ron DeSantis, Governor DeSantis, is the likely candidate to do so. I'm sitting in a boardroom. The reason why I'm doing this, DeSantis is the CEO of the state of Florida, one of the, I think, the third largest state in, in the union. Mm -hmm. The president is the CEO of the country. DeSantis is ready to go, and he's showing what type of policies he would institute were he given a chance to run and win as president of the United States in 2024. I'd I'd look, Trump, DeSantis, DeSantis, Christy Noem, Christy Noem, DeSantis, any one of these choices would be great. I don't think that DeSantis will actually turn this this proposed bill into a law and be able to find social media companies, my guess is that it, it would go to some higher court and they'd say, no, that's not um, legal. They wouldn't be able to do it. But it does show that DeSantis has been very consistent, very consistent about protecting our, our liberties, our freedoms. Look at what he's done with COVID. Mm -hmm. And that's the way he would govern as a president. My guess is this is just him setting up, hey, guys, w watch for me. I'm co coming soon. So, so, Eric, what is the answer then? I mean, because it's it's a disservice to everyone. And I've talked about this before, you know, when when you're on the public square, you're using Facebook or you're using Twitter or whatever social media that you want to use. It's better if you have uh, voices that don't all agree. We can all learn from that. So it's not just hurting conservatives, although right now is just hurting conservatives. It could be tomorrow that they decide that they don't like something that, you know, liberals or Democrats are saying. So how do we get it under control and what can we do? 
Yes, I, I, I'm all for free speech. I'm all for free markets also, Heather. So a private company like Facebook or Twitter wants to pull one se certain type of ideology off their mm -hmm. platform, that's fine. But again, let's not provide them the protections that all Americans have worked hard, have paid taxes, have lost lives for. These are protections. These are, and I'm talking about specifically Section 230. Mm -hmm. These are firewalls that these social media companies live behind. If you do want to go ahead and pick and choose who goes on or what type of content goes right. on, your platform. You are now going from a social media bulletin board to an actual media company de deciding what type of information uh, information goes onto your site, which means that is not what Section 230 is supposed mm -hmm. to protect. Section 230 doesn't protect Newsmax or New York Times or New York Post or Washington Post. It doesn't protect them because they're media companies. Right. You are bound by different standards than social media companies. If you want to go ahead and, and um, and aggregate news in a certain way, mm -hmm. and, and, and let's pull Section 230 tomorrow, and guess what will happen? I have a very, very solid hunch that it will be administered fairly yeah. across both sides of the ideological spectrum. I mean, the bottom line is we live in the United States of America. We don't live in communist China. And uh, speaking of China, have you heard about this rocket that's about to hit <laughs> <laughs> somewhere on Earth? Yeah. Yeah. Can I just uh, that 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 I keep watching this that screen and it, it's who knows 22 tons is, is quite a bit. Very quick. Can I just throw something very quick? The other mm -hmm. story that you opened this segment with was that Colonial Pipeline. Right. That 122 million gallons per day, Heather, is a massive amount that feeds the whole Northeast, right, all up the East Coast, the whole Northeast. And the problem is, right when gas prices are already spiking because of Biden's policies. You're going to see this. You're going to see that price in the pump across, across the East Coast, probably five to ten cents a gallon, starting probably Monday. Yeah, and we not. have we have to figure out who hacked into it. What happened? Yeah, well, you know, that, therein lies the problem that we we are so vulnerable. We really, really, our 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 electricity and gasoline and pipeline infrastructure is extremely vulnerable to, to, to outside hackers. Yeah. All right. Well, Eric Bowling, thank you so much for joining us again and spending part of your weekend with us. Thanks, Heather. All right. Have a great night. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.